Here in Germany, the Mercedes-Benz team is utilizing electric power to set new benchmarks for efficiency and range. Thanks to advanced aerodynamics, the Vision EQXX concept car can go more than 621 miles on a single charge. For instance, this concept car's drag coefficient is only 0.17 compared to an average passenger car's drag coefficient of about 0.3. Additionally, the engineers made everything as environmentally friendly as they could by following the most recent trends. Materials derived from mushrooms, cacti, and vegan silk made from bamboo are used in the interior trim. Additionally, there is a solar panel that under ideal circumstances will extend the range by 16 miles per day. Time to set sail. Perhaps in the future, a ship like this will make it easier for us to take pleasure trips while cruising the seas and oceans. The 150-foot catamaran yacht was unveiled by Servo Yachts and Shuttleworth Design, and it features a special stabilization system. The active suspension, which has a 16-foot stroke, is a standout feature and will ensure comfort even in choppy waters. The ship's electronic systems continuously assess the environment and adjust the suspension to maintain the horizontal position of the deck. The yacht already comes in a number of variations, one of which can accommodate 10 guests and 11 crew members. I bet you've always wanted a helicopter like this one. I know I have. The project's creators are confident that it will be a fantastic choice for individual buyers. The specs are impressive, fusing the newest technical solutions with a luxurious design. A 500-horsepower engine, a 162-mile-per-hour top speed, an 808-mile range, and seating for five people combine to make a luxurious personal transportation device like no other. The HX-50 is the first brand-new helicopter in decades, according to Jason Hill, CEO of British company Hill Helicopters, which developed the helicopter. Its clean sheet design allows for it to be sold at a lower price point than other similar helicopters. Pre-orders are currently being accepted by the company, with the first deliveries planned for 2023. This idea originated from the South Korean company Hyundai, which also displayed their vision of the city of the future at CES 2022 by showcasing a variety of transportation innovations. Robotics and the Metaverse, a constantly evolving virtual environment for various interactions, are given special consideration. People with limited mobility are also given priority. Plug-and-drive modules will enable them to leave the house and travel around the city. Pods dock with a special platform to create a kind of bus and vertical takeoff and landing vehicles will be used frequently. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. The company's ultimate objective is to implement the ecosystem for the Internet of Things, which implies seamless urban mobility and upends current modes of transportation. The goal of building a bike like this one, which relies only on human power and maximizes the use of aerodynamics, is to break existing speed records and competition is fierce when it comes to breaking records. The Dutch team's human power achieved a speed of 83.13 miles per hour in 2013. The Canadian Aravello team advanced in 2015 by accelerating to 86 miles per hour and a model known as ETA reached 90 miles per hour in 2016. Pilots are assisted by cameras and onboard computers that provide props at the appropriate moments. Carbon fiber is used and the drop-shaped design of the craft necessitates that the pilots practically lie down like they would in a Formula One bullet. The French have also managed to surprise us with their latest innovation. The Alpine A4810 is a hydrogen-powered supercar concept which was developed by Alpine engineers in collaboration with Italian design students is named after Mont Blanc, one of the most famous peaks in the Alps. Unfortunately, the model will not be sold. Rather, it is intended to highlight the skills of the upcoming generation of automotive designers and paying homage to Alpine's past. The design is influenced by F1 cars and makes active use of carbon fiber, and the color scheme creates a contrast that draws attention to the design's most striking elements. 
Don't jump to any conclusions about this new French product from Renault, because underneath its unassuming exterior are some curious design solutions. The concept, which debuted in 2002, surprised us with its unusual doors, transparent roof that made the interior appear larger, and folding seats that made the interior into a lounge area. There is no pillar between the front and back doors, which open in opposite directions. As you can see, not all concept cars should be sporty trimmed and upgraded with powerful engines because the normal buyer would rather buy a more comfortable and practical car. A Renault Clio was used as the base and home design elements are inspired by the Renault Megan. It has a 73 cubic inch diesel engine. Let's take a look at this innovation by Chinese engineers. They make these compact, twisted and rolled displays. The production cost is reduced by about 20%, which brings us closer to the widespread adoption of these products. According to the manufacturers, the market potential is enormous, and by 2025, the market for smartphones with flexible displays will be 80% more profitable than it is today. The 17-inch OLED screen is only 0.08 inches thick, and there is also a tiny AMOLED screen that measures 6.7 inches and expands to 7.8 inches with a single tap. Let's hear from German engineers, or more specifically, from Rheinmetall. They presented the idea of the most recent KF-51 Panther tank, however, the specifics of the vehicle's features are currently unknown, and the model displayed at the Euro Satiri is more of a technology showcase. Nevertheless, the company did provide some details. The 7.62mm machine gun on the tank is remotely controllable and features a smooth ball gun L-52 of 5 inches. Hero 120 Kamikaze drones with a range of about 25 miles will be able to be flown by the crew. The tank is designed to fit the NGVA architecture and weighs about 130,000 pounds. This means that all the tank systems must be connected to a digital network that is accessible to the entire crew. We continue our tour of Europe with a stop in Italy where Lazzarini offers an improved amphibious yacht concept that can move both on water and in the air with the help of two 555-foot shells that resemble airships and eight electric motors with 950 horsepower each that are powered by solar energy. The boat's top speed, according to the project's authors, will be 115 miles per hour in the air and just over 6 miles per hour on the water. Passengers will enjoy 10 guest rooms with spacious windows, a dining room, and a lounge. Staying in Italy, let's visit the Lazzarini Design Studio, this time to see some floating apartment buildings that would be ideal for resorts. The rooms are referred to as Pearl Suites, and the standard version has a 237 square foot area that includes a terrace, a bathroom, a toilet, and a convertible studio bedroom. The roof, which is partially made of photochromic glass, can be folded down so that you can enjoy a comfortable sunbath when the weather is nice. A small electric motor is also provided for movement. From the creators of the UFO, now for human jokes on YouTube user. The next idea is from Microsoft, who presented the workplace of the future. The concept won the prestigious Red Dot Design Award and it's clear why the jury was so impressed. According to their hypothesis, the work pod will promote effective work in big offices. The pod adapts to the position of the employee. For example, its elements are moved so that it's more convenient to use the screen. This is possible thanks to a patented system of sensors and cameras, and of course, the screen is touch sensitive. The side sections with loudspeakers are an alternative to classic partitions, and the back part can be easily removed. You won't believe your eyes when you see this next concept. An ambitious nuclear power designed for a flying hotel that never lands is exactly what you're seeing on your screen. 20 engines, up to 5,000 passengers, and the ability to dock with conventional aircraft are just a few of the features of the Sky Cruise project. The concept stands out for complete autonomous control, or to put it another way, human pilots just aren't needed. Visitors will be able to enjoy swimming pools, a shopping mall, cinemas, gyms, and other amenities without the need for pilots. But online commenters are skeptical. One of them stated that if physics and aerodynamics didn't exist, this vessel might actually be able to take off. The next vehicle was designed by Chinese artist Kanri Zhu, and looks like it was taken straight off the Transformers set. 
The model, which is surprisingly creative, is made for two people. Each wheel has an independent suspension and can move independently. There's a section between the rear wheels for a spare tire and the front lights are also interesting. They rotate opening another set if necessary. The engine is electric and the design is reminiscent of something between the Batmobile, cars with a Dakar Rally, and various game cars. Do you think that this is how future SUVs will look or are there other more intriguing options to come? Now let's examine another unusual product. This time, it's a versatile vehicle for polar exploration. The front portion of the concept is a fully functional tractor unit and closer to the middle, there are living and research sections. The configuration of the sections can be altered to create a small research station. The vehicle will be powered by a fuel cell electric engine. The vehicle allows for the placement of various types of equipment, including solar panels on the roof. The project was developed in collaboration with the International Polar Foundation and reflects the needs of scientists, but also the trend toward environmental friendliness.